Howdy partners, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore 64, and playing a game you might not have expected to see on this system, it's The Wild Bunch. Now there's a rather marvellous intro here. Now this has been published by Cytronic, Cytronic Software in 2009. Okay, so it's a homebrew of such. It's been written by John Wells. The original Wild Bunch came out on the Abstract CBC and the ZX Spectrum by Firebird Software in 1984. And this has been um, upgraded and redone. Didn't know it come out there, but it's a homebrew, so thank you everyone for letting me know. The uh, Spectrum version at least didn't have this amazing intro at the start. Now there's apparently over 40 in-game tunes in this one to enhance your uh, experience. It's a text like an adventure type of game. Uh, you don't actually type in text, but it's in that sort of genre. Uh, basically, a man has been shot dead. You've been mistakenly identified as the murderer, and you must go round to apprehend the wild bunch to clear your name. There's a lot of writing that goes on here, because you need clues on who to arrest. It's all about the description. You go from town to town, you can play poker, uh, you can um, get telegrams to get news of the Wild Bunch, where their whereabouts are and stuff also. Now, absolutely love this on the ZX Spectrum. Let's see what it does here. Wanted, the Wild Bunch. There's the end sequence if you want to skip to that. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. On the Spectrum version, I always did a cheat, which was by 0.1 of a horse, which counted as a real horse, so we'll see what happens here. Um, the one thing about the Wild Bunch is I still to this day don't know, there's three levels to play it on, but I still to this day don't know which is the most difficult level. Is it one? Is it three? If you know, let me know. So this is a homebrew by Cytronic, written by John Wells mainly, or oh, oh, I'm not sure, in 2009. It's a western. Bom 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 Yeah, it's got like, the vibe of a uh, fistful of dollars and that sort of stuff. There they are. The Wild Bunch. So there's, there's quite a few upgrades here uh, from the Spectrum version I played, although it looks like the graphics are staying roughly the same. The Wild Bunch. There's five of them. Howdy, partner. What name do you go by? Well, let's just keep it simple. Nick, I can't do... Uh, for some reason, I can't do space bar on this. Right. What's the diff most difficult? I'll go on level one. I don't know. One's more difficult than three. This is doing the occasional bit of music. So this is where it gets important. This is essentially the story that I've been telling you about. Yeah, re really great music on this one. Well done, well done, John Wells. This is looking pretty special. Do, 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 do. Now, get your pen ready. We need to write down some important details of the uh, guy. I didn't write it down. <laughs> I missed it. It was on the last screen. You should have written down the important thing anyway. It doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, sometimes you've got no eyebrows, scar on the left cheek, stuff like that. Music is playing uh, in the game as well, so that's what we've got so far. Colt 45 and 5 bullets. We start off with just about 50 stuff, so let's see if I can buy 0.1 of a horse. And that obviously costs me less. Uh, the advantage of having a horse is journey times take less. Oh man, it won't let me do it. Oh dear. So John Wells has been very crafty here. He, he stopped that cheat straight away, so we've got to do it all properly. The more bullets you have, the more strength you can conserve on journeys, because stuff will try and fight you um, quite a lot. So you need food for the journey, canteens of water, a great coat if you're going over the mountains. Not quite sure, a blanket maybe as well might be helpful, but it's all about the, the, the bullets there. But unless you've got a horse, the game gets quite tricky. You can up your money by playing poker if you're that good at that sort of thing. Right, now I'm going to the Sheriff's Office to look at the latest wanted posters. This is Harry Longbow. So, as you can see for him, write down what's, what uh, he looks like. He's got a patch on his left eye, right? Patch on left eye, dead or alive, 100. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. He's, he's wanted for murder and train robbery. Now, if we go to the saloon and have a look around, it'll tell you who's actually in there. A bloke with a moustache, well, I don't know who that is. Who's the bloke with a moustache? We don't know. All we know is it's not Harry. It's not Harry, folks. Could be Ben, could be Elves, could be somewhere else. You can have a gunfight if you want, but I don't tend to do that because it ends up me getting shot. If you're going to play this game, or me do a gunfight if you know it's definitely them. <laughs> what a fluke! Oh, that was a complete fluke. Do, do, do. Well, that's a great start. $200 reward. Well, we can get a horse and stuff. Well, I didn't know who that was. I took a punt, and sometimes you get lucky. So that's arrested George Parker. So that's one of the Wild Bunch captured. Oh, and I've got a great chance now. 
Right, so let's buy a horse. Marvellous. Oh, oh, good. So we got the description of Harry and we know who George was. We got George as well. 152, so we get a horse, we get a saddle. We need horse food and lots of stuff. I already have a Colt 45. No, I just want the um, I want the bullets rather than the gun. Uh, so what do I need? Why do I keep doing that wrong? I need I need number six really, don't we? Dude, what else? What else is available? My my eyesight's going in my old age. So the colour scheme is more or less the same as the ZX Spectrum. What I can make out. Spectrum didn't play music all the way through. I only played it at the start. But this is a great, great, great conversion. And so far, I'm a big fan of this one. Now, all the time when you go, when I go on the road, when you go from. Um, town to town there's a Pinkerton agent who's trying to catch you if you go into the town where the Pinkerton agent is there already the game is over and you will get arrested we already know about Harry Longbow and when you get arrested the game is essentially over there's two ways the game could be over one you run out of energy or one you get arrested so the Pinkerton agent at the moment is in dry gulch um, I didn't find these telegrams um, very reliable. Sometimes in the Spectrum version, it says in, in, in Dry Gulch, I'll go to a different town and and he'd capture me, he'd be already there waiting. Like poker, three queens, you can throw in a hand, call the bet. So this is essentially how you get more more money, really. I'll see him straight away, that's not a good hand. Most of the time, there's about a number of hands it can deal you, that's not too bad, but the best hand is a, a, a flush, which is all spades like what he just got. So that's what I want and as soon as I get that you raise and raise and raise and raise and raise your head off hopefully to get more money. Look, so the gambler keeps winning I think he's fixed it. So slightly different green in there from um, the Spectrum version. Anyway, so we've got a horse, we're in Dodge City, it makes sense to go to number three. It's two days ride across the open range. If our, we didn't have a horse it'll be four days and as we go along we've got strength of 1500 to start off with but that's going to gradually go down as we use it to fight hoodlums and vultures that are after us. You're on the open range, a tough nasty gun thing springs out. Yeah, so we use 90. If I was armed to the teeth with bullets it wouldn't need quite that many. Your strength will go up when you enter a town. I'm on the open range, I found a great coat. Good, that's better than a rubbish coat. Good, if you've got this game, uh, let me know of the Commodore 64 because it might be that you've completed it and seen a few extra things, but that should be there. We're coming into town. There we are. The Pinkerton Agent's not here. We're in Nugget City. Occasionally, when you're going from town to town, you'll find gold nuggets around there. Strength 1460, so I've only lost essentially 40. If we can capture another member of the Wild Bunch, that would be rather nice. Do -do 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 -do. There's the um, there's the store there. Uh, stuff always tends to be the same amount of money. In games like Plunder, where you were trying to beat the Spanish Armada, each port would have different prices and stuff. There's El Zale, and he's got an earring, you see, on his right ear. So we know about Harry, we know about Elsa, and it's $250. If we can capture him here, that would be rather good. Doesn't quite look like a cowboy cat. It looks a bit like a, a pointed trilby with sharp edges. But never mind, maybe that's why he's not looking very happy. It's the wild bunch, people. Um, I like those bullets animation it did on the wanted poster too. Pretty nifty. No eyebrows. Is that the man we're trying to catch on? Not sure. Well, we know it's not George, we know it's not Harry, we know it's not Elsa. It's either Harvey or Ben or someone else. Maybe I say it's Ben. It's Ben Kilpatrick. Let's say it's Ben Kilpatrick. I won't say... Right. Fingers crossed, let's have another fluke arrest. Who is it? It's the blacksmith. Oh no. We captured the wrong person there, so it's not always good stuff. If we go back to the saloon, there's not, there's going to be no one there. You can only generate new people by getting to each town. It's a really clever game, this. Originally by Firebird Software. I always wanted a sequel to it, but it's a bit unclear where it could have gone past the sequel. Or a version that was set in space. The Spectrum version, you can... Um, 10 strength points for me. The Spectrum version, you can... Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there's nobody special in the place. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the spectral version, you can break into it. That's what I was going to say. So essentially, with what you do is you put in a name that's so long, it causes the screen to scroll, and it goes, yes, no, type N, and it breaks into the program. So, um, you know, if you want to do a game like this, you can see it, 
uh, and change all the names, all the locations and stuff like that. No one's ever done it to my knowledge on the ZX Spectrum, which I'm surprised at, or plunder either for that matter. Right, 337 Colt bullets. Don't know where I'm holding them all, I've got a great coat. But we now to move on. The Pinkton agent hopefully is still in Dry Gulch. But as I say, he could turn up at any point to ruin the party and end the game. Let's get some horse food. Duh, duh, duh. I suppose I could stay miles away from Dry Gulch, just stay away from there. I mean, Dry Gulch is number one. So uh, five rides across the mountain to number four. It's, just, it's a big long journey. Sometimes the horse can go lame, or, or rock falls can, um, that's a big lot of strength there, can make your journey longer. You can run, fight, or bribe. Uh, bribing and running quite often doesn't work, so just go for fighting. I might do a bit of that if it gets it. You're very, but I've got a great coat. Maybe I should have brought a blanket with me. 17 isn't particularly good strength. La 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 la. The music is really adding to this. Great West, great Western theme. This. If you're liking your Commodore 64 stuff, we have reviewed a few of the games. Um, click on my username. That'll take you to the channel page. Uh, then there's a playlist there of Commodore 64 or whatever system you're into. We've done uh, a few stuff there. But I'm really loving this game. It's great, great stuff. Yeah, but this come back out back in the day. I don't know why it didn't. It would have been a massive hit, but good to see it converted now. 1984 was the original. This one, to my knowledge, is 2009. Thanks to people for pointing it out to me, because I didn't know the thing existed. Right, day five. We should be back into the new town. Diddle do, diddle do. Here we go. Diddle oh, look at that. You have entered Bulletville, Agent Charles A. Springo, the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Wait for you. I've been arrested. And that, that's why it's really unfair. And that's the end of the game. And I was, I was doing quite well there. It s seems that this guy can turn up at random at any sort of like uh, place. And there I am, in prison with a wet brick on my head. Well, that's probably enough for the review, but I like the game so much. I think we'll have one last go of the thing. You have scored 525. Yeah, got a great feeling. You can get quite lost into this game. It says there's 40 tunes. Commodore 64 can do some great music. It really could. Uh, the ZX Spectrum 128 had the AY chip, but look, listen to this thing. Precursors to the Commodore Amiga, of course, the Commodore 64. We'll go, we'll go in again. We'll go in again to try and defeat the Wild Bunch. Right, we'll do level... Uh, I'll put my name in this time. Uh, you can't do spaces for some reason. We'll just go in as Lenny. Uh, we'll do a level 3. I don't know if that's easier or harder, but we're quickly going to find out, or we might not. Right, so look at the top there. The man with the moustache this time, which I didn't write down before. That's at random, so he's the leader of the Wild Bunch. So we can't shoot him, because he's the only guy that can prove our innocence. Do, 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 bo do, bo do. The Wild Bunch. Right, not to get confused with Munch Bunch, which was a set of yogurts, I think. My favourite flavour was banana. Right, two and three are the best ones to go to because um, there's not much distance between the two, but we're going to start on Dead Man's Creek this time, where the Pinkerton agent caught us. We've only got $50, which isn't enough for a horse. We know we can't do the 0.1 cheat because uh, John Wells has uh, cleared that up. I, I don't know if you could do that 0.1 horse cheat on the Amstrad a CPC version. Let me know if you can do, or maybe it's just a Spectrum only, where it was a bit of duff programming. Snake bite medicine, don't know why we'd need that. Right, do, do. But, oh, I've done it in the wrong order. I did it in the wrong order. I didn't go. I didn't go to the sheriff's place. All oh, right, we're gonna have to take a guess then. No right ear. Who could that be? I've had a rough guess. Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. That was. Doesn't fit the description. It might be one of the others. So always go to the sheriff's office first to see the wanted poster before going to the saloon. So someone. Oh, did find no pound. That's a bit steep. So someone with a no right ear, possibly is one of the wild bunch. Now I'm going to kick myself if I go to the sheriff's office uh, here and, and no right ear is there. No, right, patch on the uh, patch on the right eye, Harry Longbow. I think in the last game we had a patch on the left one, didn't he? He's wanted for murder and train robbery. Patch on right eye. I hope you've written that down, folks. So yeah, plays, uh, plays very similar, plays very similar to the ZX Spectrum uh, version, so if you're familiar with that, uh, you'll be alright at this. I'm going to run out of money quite quickly. Fourth. 
You win that one. Right, okay, so I've got a few dollars there. Ten. Uh, two fours. He threw in his hand. That's not bad. Hmm, he raised... I really want to throw in my hand here, but we'll see him just in case. The gambler wins that one. Yeah, it's a bit um, a hit and miss, the uh, poker. I'm really hoping that I get that, that flush with the spades. Sometimes you get a run where um, you get a load in a row, but I don't seem to be getting good hands at all. Uh, the, the, if you're wondering why only one or two cards appear sometimes, it only shows you the important uh, cards, or your highest cards. They're king of hearts, so it's just a mixture of stuff I've got there, which is no good to no one. Three tens, three of a kind. I think he threw in his hand there. Three of a kind queens. Uh, if you're good at poker and know what to do here, uh, then you can probably raise a lot of money. You can only own one horse at a time. But it's the sort of game, as soon as you've got about a million bullets, uh, I think you're undefeatable. It's just getting to that point in the first place. You could be lost in a gambling uh, town forever. Right, I won't be in here too long. Then we'll go on another trip, see if we can catch someone. The gambler wins that. We only got five dollars. That's not bad, is it? It's it's a flash of kinds. He's uh, do do do. Uh, come on, Nick. This is quite addictive. This. But you win that one, so that beat three of a kind. I won't be in here too long. I, I just want to. I just want to get the. Um, I just want to get the spades flush in this thing. Some people might have been in the poker for the whole sort of like time. If you watch this far into the video, please consider subscribing because it might be a case that you like this kind of nonsense and it does help the channel grow, that is for sure. And big thank you to the members too. If you want to be a member, then click on the join button and tell you a little bit what it's all about and then it's up to you. But you know, it does help me keep going and bring you gems uh, like this. Uh, I do put out a lot of content, I must say. Right, I'm, I'm going for it now. I'm raising the bet, so it's now or never, Trevor. The gambler, oh, that, that that backfired, and now I can't afford to play anymore. Well, I went I went big, the pot was $23, and I've lost that. So we've got, got to leave now and move on. There's nothing we can do in this in this dusty town. Don't know where the Pinkerton agent is. We'll go to number five. We're going to number five town. You start your journey, but you have no horse, so the journey will take four days. Could be a could be a long journey. Always takes always takes twice as long if you've got no horse. Uh, pity we couldn't. If it was a Star Wars version, if you want to do that, we would be on a land speeder. You got no land speeder, so it would take five days. And go around Moss Esper, I suppose. A big angry bandit charges towards you. I mean, Star Wars is a bit like the Western now, especially on that desert planet Moss Esper. Uh, well, Tatooine. We've got Moss Esper and Moss Eisley. You can have all the mosses in the game. A bad, ugly bounty hunter turns up. It's Boba Fett. Right, the gunslinger. Or Cad Bane. He's roughly kind of my favourite character. I annihilated him. 25 bullets. That's a bit excessive, isn't it? One would have done. Day three. You're on the open range. You're very thirsty. Oh, my water's run out, is it? A mean, ugly red Indian attacks you. Why? 32 should be enough for him. 22 bullets. I, I'm not very conservative with my bullets. Maybe I should use less strength. I found a nugget worth $11. Oh, lucky us. Strength goes down and down and down. But it goes up a bit when you eat this, uh, hit the cities. We've got to survive five days. I think we lose energy if we're thirsty. Uh, I'm trying to bribe a buffalo. What's a buffalo going to do with four dollars? I don't know. Get himself a hat, a new outfit. I think he could do. He's just not thinking outside the system. Right, that should do him. Annihilated that buffalo. 18, but why am I being attacked by a buffalo for? Maybe he wanted my uh, great coat from the last go. Hopefully that's enough. Is that enough? The red Indian is annoyed. I use no I've got I don't think I've got any bullets left, have I? That could be the problem. Well I've got I've got to give it big style now then. Is it I tried to run, I couldn't outrun him. I've got to give him full bifters here. 150, that's a lot of energy to use on a red Indian. And I, yeah, I've got no bullets in my gun, so now everything's costing me way, way, way too much. It's a very tough town. Bom, 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 Right, Bulletville. Yeah, see, look, I've got a gun, a blanket, and nothing else, and $11. I think Lenny's in trouble here. Tough luck, Lenny. You've arrived at the wrong town. Right, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how I'm going to arrest anyone with no bullets. But anyway, 
I can get, I get yeah, I can get one set of each set of each set of bullets you buy for ten dollars is is fifty bullets, right? Go, I desperately need to capture someone now. Elves a lay, look, no right ear, no elves a lay was before. Okay, elves a lay. Do 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 do. He's wanted for castle cattle rustling and bag rustling. Patch on right eye. Was that the bloke from before? Oh, I think it was, wasn't it? The man walks into the saloon with a patch on his right eye. So if you walk into a saloon, it just happens that you're, um, you you match someone else. Uh, don't If you're going to that bar wearing a patch on your right eye, you'll be in big trouble. There you go. We knew it, didn't we? Tough luck, we've got him. We've captured Harry Longbottom, but... 100 dollars. 100, that's not very much, is it? Well, we can buy some food and a uh, horse, but we desperately needed that. That is for sure. It's the Wild West, folks, and this is how they did things back uh, then. Uh, it's a nice uh, font there that they've uh, curated. It does give an old Western theme to it, rather than just using the normal ZX Spectrum font, so that lifts it. Spectrum version had that as well. So, you know, we're upgrading, folks. We're upgrading. We don't know where the Pinkerton agent is. Well, we'll just have to trial up now. Okay, so we're in Bulletville. Um, yeah, see. It's a five-day journey. We've got our horse. So it should be okay. Without the horse, it'll be ten days. I found a nugget worth ten dollars. That's good. Our bounty hunters turned up. You can find some really, um, uh, really valuable nuggets sometimes. I'm in the mountains. I'm very hungry and I'm very cold. Oh no. Why am I hungry? I thought I bought some food. Did I not buy not any food? Horses don't. There's no horse food either. Oh, I've messed up here. What's happened to all our horse food? This looks, this looks like the start of a bad journey. But it is just five days, so maybe we can survive. Day four in the mountains. Uh, your horse needs water. Horses don't eat rocks. Oh god. Well, you know, they should eat rocks, shouldn't they? 17 bullets on him. I've done a boo boo. Is this the last day, hopefully? Uh, your horse needs water, horses don't eat rocks, your horse is dead. Oh no, has that doubled the journey time? Oh no, that better not have doubled the journey time. That's done me if it has done. I was right near the end. Surely I was right near the end. Oh, it's, it's doubled the journey time. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Horses don't eat rocks. Horses are very thirsty. My horse is dead from before. I'm cold. I'm telling you old news now. That scrolled off the screen ages ago. I've only got 340 strength. This looks like the end of me. Oh no! A short journey has turned into a long journey. Your strength is 134. You better be dead, sir. I've got no bullets left by the looks of things either. Oh dear. This don't look good. Oh, we... <laughs> the vulture is 50. My strength is 49. Just try and get lucky with a low length strength amount. The vulture is annoyed. Um, oh, I don't know. Run. It's a quick vulture. I've only got 19 now. Oh dear. Get, to get your tombstone ready. Enter amount 18. Uh, I got hammered that time. Your strength is 1. Okay. Oh dear. I think I'm doomed. Well, the wild bunch will get away again because I'm dead. The horse is dead. Oh dear. All went wrong after, even after that capture as well. There we go. Well, hope you like that game. That's a really, really, really great conversion. I love the original Wild Bunch, and this on the Commodore 64 really lifts it. A real great job, great graphics, great added sound, and it maintains the original gameplay of the fantastic originals. An awesome job. So that was the Wild Bunch on the Commodore 64, published by uh, Cytronic Software in 2009, written by John Wells. Well done, sir. Excellent conversion. So, yeah, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome, and I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.